Hi, today in the small shed I've had my hair cut and that's going to cause major continuity problems. But hopefully it won't stop me dealing with the clamp storage problem. Right, it's time to start tackling the wall clamp storage problems. Um, I'm intending to put a lot of the um, smaller clamps underneath this unit here um, and they'll go on the wall, I think, underneath there. I don't want them too low down because obviously uh, the older you get, the further you can't bend down. So um, we'll try and get those in there. But there's room on this wall behind me um, for the very tall clamps, the long ones, and I can probably also get the uh, aluminium plunge saw rails on as well. So the intention is to put a timber patras um, right the way across from the cupboard across to the head of the window. And I shall use some of the spare hooks that I've got from the slap room um, with a, a 6mm or a 9mm ply or MF, MDF, I'm not quite sure which, behind them to, to pull them out to the right level. Uh, and they can screw into the patras. And if I'm really lucky, I can then open the door and it'll clear the hook, but the hanging clamp will still be behind that door and it'll allow the door to open. So hopefully I might get away with that. And then the MFT, um, test tool or whatever rails will go on the wall there somewhere. Um, and it just starts to tidy the place up because one of the biggest problems I've got at the moment is that I can hardly move for junk. And as you develop a system of work, you start to find out where it's best to put things. And at the moment that seems to be the best option. The clamps are something I don't use a lot. Um, but we'll see how we go with that anyway. So that's the uh, idea. First off, we'll cut a patras and see if we can get that to fit. This was cut from a bit of 12 mil ply that I've got left over that was lying around. It was some of the stuff I used to uh, make the Keith Brown Bowl Challenge. Um, and using the trusty Japanese saw that I've grown to know and love. Um, I must get a new one because that one's starting to get blunt now, it's been used that much. Cutout was made to go around the uh, switch socket with the power socket up there that needed to uh, be cut out around. And then some 9mm MDF was cut into strips uh, to space out the flat wall brackets. Uh, they've got a, an offset on them which needs something just to push them away from the wall. And I nearly got brained by the MFT table on the way. Brackets were laid out roughly to get an idea of how many was going to fit, and then the patrices were glued up, and uh, the MDF was attached.
the addition of the MDF on the front of the Patras meant that it was just fouling the edge of the cupboard. So I just put a router bit in the uh, Triton setup and took the edge to relieve the end of the panel so it just fitted behind the moulding. Quick coat of emulsion to match the walls and some holes drilled in the end of the aluminium rack uh, clamps and that was the long storage done. Now for the small clamp rack I've established roughly the amount of space I need to keep the clamps that I've got already. Um, it's possible that I'm going to need more, you always tend to want more than you've got. Um, but I think there's a bit of flexibility in there anyway. So I'm intending to keep them clamped on in that position, just mounted on a standoff on the wall. Um, so having established that I can fit them in the space available, all it needs now is to screw some brackets into the wall and get the, uh, the rails mounted and we can get the small clamps finished as well. A couple of lengths of uh, timber that's 33mm roughly square that I'd had on a previous project and it's got blocks mounted on it that have been glued on. Um, the way I'm thinking I might work it is that I'll cut this to length to screw to the wall. Um, I've got to screw it at either end and in the middle because that's where the studs are. Um, and then I'll get the other piece, probably knock the pins off, the peg spare bits of timber off that and then mount another rail standing off the wall and then that gives me plenty of depth to get the clamps on without actually hitting the wall and giving a problem. Um, you know, I've, got, I've got room there now that it's not going to touch the wall and cause a lot of damage there. Just found a couple of bolts, some threaded inserts and some washers. What I'm hoping to do is put the threaded inserts into the back rail that's screwed onto the wall and then the bolts will have a washer on the head and go through and bolt them to there. And we'll see if that I mean, I'm still not sure about the weight on it, cantilevering out as to what it'll do to the wall, but um, we'll give it a try anyway. In the event I was fortunate with the batten, I moved the height by about 10 millimetres. Um, so that it coincided with the cross studs in the panelling which has allowed me to put about five or six screws to fix it to the wall all with decent fixing straight into the uh, 3x2 studs that lie behind it so there's a lot more support there than I was originally thinking I might have. And then once the 
stainless steel bolts were fixed into place and fixed the rack. It was just a matter of putting the clamps on and finishing the job. Another step forward, we've uh, achieved something today and got the clamp racks finished. So I've now got a bit of capacity on the wall for another two, four, six long or medium sized clamps. The wall storage um, for the shorter clamps is pretty much full but there is room if I really wanted to do my back in and go lower down with other ones underneath. So I've got some future potential for uh, putting extra clamp rack storage in or indeed they could go over the other side of the workshop. So um, I'm quite happy with that. We'll see how we uh, go with it but uh, see how it works in long term but it seems rigid enough and uh, it all seems to be what I wanted so I may have got something from that some ideas um, if you want to watch any more of the videos please press like and subscribe um, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one cheers now bye